What the f are pass keys? Google, Apple, Microsoft, and others are telling us to use pass keys now to log into our account. So what is that? Are pass keys replacing passwords? To be honest, there are so many explainer videos that are just making this whole thing more complicated than it needs to be. Have you ever unlocked your phone with your fingerprints or with your face? If you have, then congratulations, you are already using pass keys. Have you ever seen those apps that say log in using your biometrics? Yep, those are pass keys. Now imagine being able to do that stuff on websites and services that you access on your computer. Imagine no longer having to put that super complicated 12 character unique password for each website. That is the essence of pass keys. And it's so easy to set up. Here is how you do it for Google. Right, head over to myaccounts.google.com, click on security, and then click on pass keys. You will see this, create a pass key. Pass key enables you to securely sign into your Google account using your fingerprint, your face, screen lock, or hardware security key. Okay, so let's do that. Click on create pass keys. And since I'm on a Windows machine, it wants me to turn on Windows Hello. So I'm gonna click on close for right now. And then I get a message, something went wrong. Okay, click on create pass keys again. And then you get this error message, a pass key can't be created on this device. So I'm going to select the option of use another device. If I did have Windows Hello on it, then obviously I could use that. Now I'm going to choose the Pixel Fold. That's my phone that it's connected to the same Gmail account. And it says, use your device to sign into google.com. Sign in will be stored on this device. After you exit incognito mode, you'll be able to sign into the website with your device again later. Cool. I'm going to click on continue. Right, now it says, check your device. A notification was sent to your Pixel phone. So let's head over to the Pixel phone and follow the steps on your device. Right, here is my Pixel phone and it says, hey, create a passkey. A passkey will be created for google.com. Cool, let's click on continue. Then it will give you the option, use the screen lock for encryption. I'm gonna say, use the screen lock, click on that. And then I have to use my biometrics to unlock the phone. On the Pixel Fold is on the top right where the power button is. Simply place my finger on it, it tells me where it is, and that's it. Just like that, I've created a pass key. And here is how you use it. Super simple, all you gotta do is select the account that you wanna sign into using your pass key. It will then pop up this message, and all you gotta do is click on continue. It will ask you where is the pass key kept. It's got a couple of different options. Mine is on the Pixel Fold. And it says, check your device. Notification was sent to your device. Follow the steps on the device itself. And here is what a notification looks like. I simply tap on that, connecting to your device, place your device next to your computer. I unlock the phone using my biometrics, and it's as simple as that. And now I'm in. Super simple. It's important to note that pass keys are different to usernames and passwords. When you set up your pass key on a website, it doesn't get your biometric information so the website can verify if it is indeed you. Your info is still kept safe on your device. What happens with pass keys is that when you set one up, it automatically creates a unique public and private key. The website holds the public key and your device has the private key. When you want to access a website using pass keys, the website says, hey there, here's the public key. Do you have the right key? And at that point, your device pops up and you need to unlock it with your biometrics. When you unlock the device, it finds your private key and it gives the okay to the website. The website never knows your private key. It doesn't get your biometric information. It just gets the authorization that you're allowed to log in. Since every website will have a unique key, it means that it's infinitely more secure than just adding T at the end of your Twitter password and F at the end of your Facebook password. But what happens if somebody steals your phone? Can they just log in? Well, no, since they cannot unlock your phone without your fingerprints or your face. Google and Apple also have cloud backup to your keys. So if you replace your phone, your keys will work for you on your new device. Okay, but what about those hardware keys? Are they just became useless? Actually, no. Think of those hardware keys as being the physical pass keys. It really does depend on you and your preference. Many people don't wanna use their phone as the unlocking mechanism. So the hardware key is still the preferred method. 
This really is a personal thing. But wait a minute, can't we do this now with password managers? Absolutely. The reason I partnered with NordPast on this video and I've been working with them for years even before they were a sponsor on this channel is because they provide a very simple solution to a very complicated problem. We know that passwords are a nightmare to remember, especially when you need a unique password for every website. NordPass generates a unique password that is insanely long and complicated whenever you first sign up to any service. It stores the password so securely that even NordPass doesn't have access to it. And when you need to try logging to the website again, you simply click on the NordPass icon and it automatically puts in the username and password for you. No typing of anything. And of course, NordPass is able to store your pass keys too. Now, this is a major advantage as NordPass works with all our phones and our desktop and it means we can instantly and quickly access the pass keys without touching our devices. Check this out. Okay, so let's go create an account on this particular website. I'm gonna put in my email address to sign up. It says, hey, you don't have an account. Would you like to create one? Yes, click on sign up. And then it's gonna say, hey, do you wanna create a pass key to log in? Absolutely, click on create pass key. Now watch this, instead of popping up my devices, it actually pops up the NordPass application and says I can store your pass keys for you. You don't have to use an external device. And I click on create. And now I'm logged into the website. Now to log back into the website, so let's just log out to log back in again. So it's gonna ask me for my email address. Of course, NordPass has that information. Click on continue. Instantly it pops up with the pass key and I just simply click on login. I love this. I don't have to use an external device to log in and still be safe with pass keys. See how quick that was? Pass keys are awesome, but there are of course some cons. They're still not accepted on every website. This is still new technology, which is why NordPass is still the must have app. Now, another con is that it seems like pass keys are actually linked to your Apple ID or your Google account. So if your account is suspended or your account is shut down for whatever reason, you may be screwed. So is this the end of usernames and passwords? Uh, well, maybe it's the beginning of the end, but we're certainly not there yet. Head over to this link below and click on the complete package. Not only will you get NordPass, the password manager, but you're also gonna get NordVPN, so you get a nice secure data connection as well, and you get NordLocker to encrypt your data. And why would you need to encrypt your data? Well, did you see this video over here when I took laptops to three repair shop? This is why you need to encrypt your data. So check this video out over here. Hit the head down here to subscribe and give the video a thumbs up before you head out. And I'll see you in this video or this video, or I'll see you in both. Let's go.